Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Andrew Tehemi Kyoa, a lecturer of physical chemistry in the Department of Chemistry, Benue State University, Makurdi, Nigeria. This is my introductory lecture to CHM 201, a second year physical chemistry course. This lecture is meant for my students here at the Benue State University, Makurdi, as well as my global audience. If you've got any questions or any comments, you can send them to me via my university email address or my Google email address. In today's lecture, um, we'll learn the definition of physical chemistry. We are going to also learn the reasons why we study physical chemistry. Uh, you'll be learning about quantities and units, algebraic phrases, and then we'll end it up with decimal places and significant figures. So after the lecture, I expect you to be able to define physical chemistry, state the importance of studying physical chemistry, state the differences between fundamental and derived quantities, state the differences between SI uh, derived and non SI units give examples of fundamental and derived quantities as well as those of SI derived and non SI units. And then finally, write numbers in specified decimal places or significant figures. So, why, why are we studying physical chemistry or why do people have to study physical chemistry? What are the importance of physical chemistry if you like? By definition, according to uh, Peter Atkins, if you know about Peter Atkins, uh, the man who wrote uh, this physical chemistry textbook, um, Atkins Physical Chemistry, according to him, Physical chemistry is the infrastructure of the whole of chemistry. Um, that is to say that the principles that underlie all the aspects of chemistry, uh, be it organic, analytical chemistry, um, inorganic chemistry, biochemistry, and anything that has to do with chemistry are best studied in the framework of physical chemistry. This infrastructure is built upon mathematics, physics, chemistry, and perhaps biology. The knowledge of physical chemistry firstly enables quantitative prediction and understanding of quantitative data. The knowledge of physical chemistry also enables chemists to extract um, data as well as understand data generated by complex equipment or instrument. Um, also, there is a shift in science from simple to complex entities. So the knowledge of physical chemistry enables a firm understanding of physical entities, which um, then enables understanding of complex entities. Um, students, I must admit this, find physical chemistry challenging. And the reason for this is because they lack very basic mathematical concepts as far as units and quantities. Um, that includes both SI and non-SI units as far as derived units. Throughout CHM 201, I will do my level best to explain the underlying mathematical concepts and then shed light on units as far as possible. However, I encourage all the students to uh, learn about this on their own and very thoroughly. I, I will also like to admit that students with very poor mathematical foundation will struggle with physical chemistry 
And this is not to disappear you or scare you. Unless you choose to improve that, then you can salvage your situation. And why this might sound daunting? Um, the good news is that revisiting very simple algebra, indices, logarithm, differential and integral calculi covered in elementary mathematics. Um, in our university, we cover this under MTH 101 and 104. Um, would be very helpful. Also, students aspiring to learn more about physical chemistry, um, even at the undergraduate level, as well as higher degrees in physical chemistry, must realize that mathematics is the only language of physical chemistry. Um, I like to say that there is no physical chemistry without mathematics, of course, but there is a mathematics without physical chemistry. Therefore, learning mathematics is very, very important, learning physical chemistry. Yeah, so let's turn to quantities and units. <clears throat> because we speak different languages, there needs to be a standard form of expression, which uh, all scientists will be conversant with so that when they are talking, they will understand um, um, uh, one another. So there exists a standard system of expression that enables clear and unambiguous communication in physical chemistry, and this is known as SI. Um, in English, we call this uh, International System of Units. Um, in French, I can't actually say this, or I've displayed this, Systeme International Delineate. The SI is based on seven independent physical quantities, namely uh, length, mass, time, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. The first six um, are very important um, in physical chemistry. And I have given a table for these uh, physical quantities. The SI also includes um, radian and star radian, which are dimensionless um, and they are important for expressing angles. So this is table one that has fundamental SI units as well as their symbol. Here is the physical quantity. Um, here is the symbol of symbols, the SI unit, and then the symbol for the SI unit. Our first physical quantity is length and is represented by various symbols, L, A, B, H, R, etc. The SI unit is meter. And the symbol for meter is M. Um, the next is mass symbol uh, M. And the SI unit is kilogram. The symbol for the SI unit is kg. The next is time, uh, represented by T, SI unit second, uh, symbol for SI unit S. Electric current, represented as I, SI unit ampere, symbol for SI unit, uh, capital letter A. Thermodynamic temperature, symbol capital letter T, um, the SI unit is Kelvin, and is represented by capital letter K. Amount of substance, um, is represented by small letter M, the SI unit is mole, and the symbol for the SI unit is uh, MOL. Uh, luminous intensity has the symbol capital letter L sub V. Uh, the SI unit is candler, and its symbol CD. And then a plane angle, alpha, beta, gamma, and theta, and phi. Um, this is uh, radian, the SI unit, 
and the symbol is red. Um, solid angle, small letter omega, as well as capital letter omega. Um, the SI unit is star radian, and the symbol is SR. You will notice that all the symbols for the physical quantities are written in italic, while the symbol for the SI unit are not italicized. This is um, standard scientific notation. So definition, uh, the seven fundamental um, physical quantities are defined in terms of seven physical constants, no difference, the difference uh, fundamental physical quantities and then fundamental physical constants, they are not the same. So these constants are revealed as time progresses uh, in history. And the last time we had this was in um, um, 2017. And these are the physical constant, hyperfine transition frequency of cesium speed of light in vacuum, Planck constant, elementary charge, Boltzmann's constant, Avogadro's constant, luminous efficacy. These are the symbols for the constants. These are the numerical values for the constants. And these are the units of the constants. I'm not going to read three, uh, this um, to you, uh, bearing in mind that you'll be able to do that on your own. So speed of light, the speed of light has the value 299-792-458 uh, meters per second. And it sets the speed uh, limit of all objects in the universe. Um, that is to say that nothing in the cosmos, uh, matter, energy, sound, etc. travels faster than the speed of light. The speed of light helps define meter, kilogram in Kelvin. Planck's constant uh, denoted by H. Um, in quantum mechanics, it is believed that energy is exchanged and absorbed um, in specific amount called the quanta. The size of this quantum is defined by H, um, where H has the value 6.62070, uh, 0, 7, 0, 5 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule per, cal per uh, second. Rather. And this constant helps define the kilogram, Kelvin, and candle. Elementary charge. Um, has uh, symbol E, and this is the amount of charge in an electron, and its value is 1.6021766334 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulomb, and it helps define the ampere. Uh, Boltzmann's constant. The Boltzmann's constant relates an object's energy to its temperature. Its value is 1.380649 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joule per Kelvin, and it helps define the Kelvin. Avogadro's constant, capital letter A sub A. Um, Avogadro's constant defines the number of particles in a mole. Its value is 6.0221476 times 10 to the power of uh, 23 per mole. That's per mole is the unit. Next is the hyperfine uh, frequency transition of cesium um, uh, 133. It has this symbol, and this is the frequency of microwave radiation that causes the loosely held electron in cesium to jump between two closely uh, spaced low energy states. Um, 
And this frequency has the value 9192631770 hertz. And it helps define the second meter kilogram in ampere. Um, luminous efficacy of monochromatic radiation of frequency 540 times 10 to the power of 12 hertz. Um, this is referring to green light. Luminous efficacy means the total amount of visible light that a source produces using a certain amount of power. Um, it, um, uh, K uh, sub CD uh, equals uh, 683 lumens per watt and it helps define candle. I mean, this is luminous efficacy. So let's define the, the seven fundamental physical um, units. Let's begin with the second. The second is the duration of 91926331770 cycles of radiation corresponding to the transition between two hyperfine levels of cesium-133. Um, Meter is the length of path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 1 all over 299, 792, 458 of a second. The kilogram, one kilogram is Planck Kasten divided by 6.620715 times 10 to the power of negative 34 per meter squared second. Up here, this is the electric current corresponding to the flow of 1 all over 1.6021766634 times 10 to the power of negative 19 elementary charges per second. Mole, the mole refers to the amount of substance in a system that contains 6.0221476 times 10 to the power of 23 specified elementary entities. Kelvin, the Kelvin equals to a change in thermal energy of 1.380649 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joules. Luminous intensity refers to intensity of a light source with frequency 540 times 10 to the power of 12 hertz and a radiant intensity of 1 all over 683 watts per star radian. Now, derived as well as secondary or compound quantities are expressed in terms of these fundamental SI units. These quantities are derived by appropriate multiplication or division, uh, but without introduction of numerical factors. Um, there are numerous numbers of um, uh, derived units, and I have shown some of examples of them in Table 2. These are derived units, um, these are physical unit uh, quantities, and these are symbol, um, unit symbol, and definition. Uh, the physical quantities are represented here are velocity, acceleration, frequency, force, pressure, re energy, electric potential, power, resistance, capacitance. And these are the various symbols. Um, First two, velocity and acceleration, don't have unit symbols, but the rest do have um, all through to the last one, the capacitance. Their definitions are also included here. The first velocity meter per second, uh, the second one acceleration meter per second squared, the frequency per second, force kg uh, meter per sec second squared, 
and all through uh, to capacitance, which is a Coulomb per volt. Now, you will notice that quantity symbols are printed in Italic, while unit symbols are printed in Roman upright type. Uh, units are spaced to avoid confusion. For instance, meter per second squared is written with the space in between and is uh, pronounced uh, meter per second squared uh, with spaces in between. Now, if you wrote this uh, without a space, this will translate to millisecond squared, which is wrong. Now, when writing, plural forms of unit symbols are unacceptable. Uh, for instance, 2 kg is written as it is, 2 uh, with a space in between, and then kg. And not 2 kgs. Now, that's unacceptable. Units can also be expressed using a slash. Uh, for instance, meter per second can be written as meter slash s, uh, m slash h, uh, so to say. But the use of simple positive and negative part um, is encouraged as this expresses the unit without any confusion compared with using uh, slash. Um, prefaces enable denotation of decimal fractions and multiples of fundamental and derived units more conveniently. So some of these prefaces are given in table uh, three. Um, these are decimal fractions and multiples. Um, this is the, the for decimal point and these are the multiples. Um, these are the factors, the prefaces, symbol, um, the same thing applies here, factors, prefaces, and symbols. Um, this is 10 to the power of negative one, preface deci, symbol, small letter D. Uh, 10 to the power of negative two, centi, symbol C. 10 to the power of negative three, uh, milli, symbol, small letter M. Um, 10 to the power of negative six, um, micro and symbol mu, a negative nine uh, nano uh, symbol small letter n, negative twelve pico small letter p, negative fifteen femto small letter f, and negative eighteen atto uh, small letter a. Correspondingly, uh, the factor uh, for multiples this is ten the power of one. Of course, we don't write that. But we know is that uh, preface deca, and this is the a uh, uh, part ten to the power of two hecto h, part three kilo k, part six uh, mega, cap to m, part nine giga, cap to g, uh, part twelve tera, cap to later t, uh, part fifteen. Peta cap to P and par 18 exa cap to letter E. You will notice that these symbols are not italicized and you shouldn't do that in any way. Uh, the same thing applies to those. For instance, one centimeter is one times 10 to the power of negative two meter. That is the centi there is now replaced with 10 to the power of negative 2 here. 1 hm, which is 1 um, hectometer, um, it's represented as 10 times, uh, 1 times 10 to the power of 2 meter. Now, it is ridiculous to write something like this. Uh, some people do that, but you can write this in a better way. That is not point, not, 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 not. One meter can be written more conveniently as one micrometer. Of course, you know that this is one, 
two, three, four, five, six. This is, I mean, kindergarten mathematics, remembering my old days, uh, primary school anyway. Not SI units. Now, there are some units which are defined in terms of SI units, but they are not SI units. These units are either decimal fractions or multiples of a corresponding SI unit. Uh, but some are also non decimal of the corresponding SI unit. Examples of some non SI units are given in Table 4. And this is Table 4. These are physical quantities, these are names of the unit. Um, these are unit symbol and this are the definition. Length, we've got angstrom uh, with the symbol A with something that looks like a knot at top. And it's defined as 10 to the power of negative 10 meter. Uh, same length again, micron, uh, denoted as mu, uh, 10 to the power of negative 6 meter. Volume, uh, name liter, unit symbol L, and it's 10 to the power of negative 3, and this is equal to dm cube. Mass, um, tone, it doesn't, sorry, mass ton doesn't have a unit symbol. And this is 10 to the power of 3 kg, force at tie in, dyn, 10 to the power of negative 15. Sorry, negative 5 Newton, not 15. Um, false uh, egg, um, unit uh, egg again, and definition 10 to the power of negative 7 Joule. Um, energy again in calorie, a unit symbol, cal, uh, 4.14 4 4 Joule. That's the definition. Pressure, you have bar, bar there, atmosphere, ATM there, millimeter of mercury, mm mercury there, tone, tone there. You notice that this is small liter T, this is capital liter T, and there are various definitions are given here. Temperature, degree Celsius, has the symbol degree C. And it's defined as T, which represents temperature minus 273.15 Kelvin. You will encounter both SI and non SI units in physical chemistry. But my recommendation is that you should use SI units both when reporting experimental data and performing calculations. Algebraic phrases. In measurement, units are specified to avoid confusion and ambiguity. Therefore, all measured variables are written with their correct units. Um, meter for length, second for time, and so on. In physical science, in chemistry, all variables are written in the following form. And this is the form um, that is referred to as an algebraic phrase. Uh, there is a variable A, has a number, there is a factor, and then uh, the units come last. Let's take the case of energy, for instance. E is equal to 40. Uh, kilojoule per mole. The variable here is E. The number here is 40. The factor is K. The unit is joule per mole. Now a variable is a quantity and its value can be altered. And numbers include 0, 1, 2, 3, up to nine, and can be written in either decimal, fractional, standard form. 
a factor is either a decimal fraction or multiple, um, as we uh, saw in table three. The unit could be SI compound or non SI unit. Uh, units are written on the far right of an algebraic phrase and are separated by single spaces. Now, the final phase of our lecture is decimal places and significant figures. Decimal places are abbreviated to DP and they refer to the number of digits after a decimal point. For instance, if um, after a number and uh, after a decimal point, there are two digits, then it means that number is written in terms of uh, two decimal places. And if it's one, it means it's written in terms of one decimal place and so on. So, for instance, for uh, 4.0 and 4.00 are expressed to 0, 1, and 2 decimal places respectively. Significant figures. Significant figures are abbreviated to SF and they refer to the specified number of important digits. And N significant figures are displayed by using the first n digits. Um, if we take the case of pi, which is, we can be written as 3 to 1 significant figure and 3.1 to 2 significant figures and 3.14 uh, to 3 significant figures and 3.142 to 4 significant figures. In fact, in some cases, this will require rounding down or up. For numbers uh, less than zero, um, sorry, for numbers less than one, counting begins uh, on the first non-zero digit. For instance, to express not point not 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 four five six volt to one and two significant figures, we simply write not point not 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 four that is the first non um, zero and then to two significant figures we write not point not 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 four six volt um, where four and six are the first two uh, non zero so this is the end of our lecture and i'm sure you've learned all of this you will make use of them in your physical chemistry lectures and anything that has to do with measurement in physical science. Thanks for watching once again. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section of this video on YouTube. Um, if you like the video, you like it, you can subscribe so that whenever I upload a video, you will, um, you'll be notified. If you want to send me a private email, you can do that by using my university email address or my Google email address. Thank you once again.